Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, I want to introduce a package for making a customizable avatar in Unity, which called Unity Multipurposes Avatar System or UMA. Okay, uh, let's take a look at this package over here. Uh, this is the UMA package. I will share the link of this package in the description of this video. You just need to download the zip file of this package. It's almost 550 megabytes. Uh, after you downloaded it, you just need to import the this UMA folder with the whole content inside this folder into your projects folder. After that, uh, we should come over here and look at this in the UMA folder we have different folders but the most important like always is examples look at this we have a lot of example scenes but let's check them all first we have this guy look at this if I play the scene I can change human male, human female, human girl, elf girl, or I don't know, human male, this, this, oh, you know, we can change anything we want. Uh, let me do something like sky car, even, <laughs> or, uh, I don't know, human male. Okay. Now, I can change the their uh, word or uh, let me change the UI to be able to see it. Uh, for example, chest. And here we have different kind of, you know, clothes. Look at this. And here we have hairs. Look at this, we have different kind of that. <coughs> Sorry. For change the color, we have changed the skin. Look at this. Green or black. Green. <laughs> or hair or here. It's so beautiful. And the eyes. Different kind of eyes. And the end. Okay, now I change the DNA. For example, head size. Look at this, I can change it very easily. Head width. But something like that. Okay, let's go to the another example scene. Here we have blend chip uh, for changing the, you know, let me change it here. Look at this. We can change the hairs to be able to make a, something like aliens. Let me do something like this. Look at this. It's kind of aliens. Alien head. Yeah, it's interesting. Now let's go to the you know DNA converter. It is really good. Here we can change anything we want, but with uh, you know better icons. For example, this guy it can be a smooth or the birds. Look at this. We have manly bird. Uh, or for example, the eyes. Different kinds of eyes. Helmets. Can add any element we want. Airs, however, we don't have airs. Shoulders, fits, hairs, that's it. And the legs, look at this. We can select anything. <coughs> Sorry. The chest, we can select, for example, this guy. Oh, it's more beautiful. And the hands. Uh, for example, this guy. Excellent. And for here, it's the colors. It's the same for uh, with the previous example, but here we can see the example 
icons actually. Hair colors, look at this. Uh, I don't know, for clothes. Yeah, the shirt accent and the leather colors, the green for example. And the body DNA, look at this. For each part we can change the, you know, the uh, options. Hand size and the height overly and the legs size mouth size this is interesting always oh, look at this <laughs> he's a fat man okay and the face dna specifically look at this it's chin size or air positions eye size it's interesting or forehead size here look at this Oh yeah, we, we have a lot of things to change actually. You can make your own object. Okay. And let's go to the another example here. For example, we have uh, expressions example. I don't know, sorry. Uh, one of the more, you know important examples here, the mounting object, you can attach a, an object to the hands of the character look at this we can give it a sword, sword. unmount, mount pistol look at this there is a pistol or sword or it is for the uh, left hand excellent and also here in the physics uh, especially in the ragdoll look at this these are our characters and we uh, we are the you know the player for each rag, uh, for each characters we have ragdolls and they interact with the f uh, colliding a physical object look at this Headshot. Yes. This is goddamn alien. It is so interesting. So we can use this technique for making a you know shooter games as well instead of these characters we can use any character we want and in here we have a different option the main camera can't render the body but this render texture can do it so we can use this technique for making a mirror or kind of something like that look at this here we can see but here we can't even in the shadow it is visible but in the real world no okay I hope this short tutorial will be helpful for you don't hesitate to ask any question related to unity AR VR and XR subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it have a great time bye bye